So today we're going to break down the latest in tech, innovation, and investing when it comes to INQ. Today we're diving into something huge. INQ participated in CES 2025, which just wrapped up a few days ago, and took part in the event's first ever quantum track. Now, I don't think I need to tell you that this is a groundbreaking moment, not just for quantum computing, but for CES itself. And if you're wondering why this matters and what it means for INQ's future, especially after the huge dip in their stock, you're in the right place. First though, let's talk about CES, or the Consumer Electronics Show, is a global stage for tech innovation. Every January, Las Vegas turns into a playground for the world's most cutting edge gadgets and ideas, from self-driving cars to new foldable phones. But this year, it's a little different. CES is stepping into quantum computing for the very first time, which means quantum tech is no longer just for researchers and labs, it's making its way into the mainstream conversation. So where does INQ fit into all this? Well, for those of you unfamiliar, INQ is a pioneer in the quantum computing space. They've been making some waves with their trapped ion technology, which many believe could outpace other quantum approaches. And at CES, INQ didn't just show up. They were there to demonstrate how quantum computing could impact industries like healthcare, logistics, and even climate modeling. Basically, taking quantum from theoretical to practical. Now let's get into the juicy part though. What was INQ actually showcasing? Well, the company highlighted their latest breakthroughs in quantum applications and their partnerships with Fortune 500 companies. Think real-world use cases, like optimizing supply chains or turbocharging AI algorithms. And this isn't just about technology for technology's sake. INQ is about creating real value, making quantum computing accessible, and solving problems that were once considered impossible. And I think you can also think about this move as another strategic play for INQ. Being part of CES's first quantum track means they're positioning themselves as leaders in an emerging industry. And let's be honest, even though quantum computing isn't fully mainstream yet, visibility matters. And CES isn't just another tech event, it's a global spotlight. So for INQ, it's about building credibility, attracting talent, and signaling to investors that they're leading the charge. But let's address the elephant in the room right now. INQ's stock has taken a huge hit recently, and the company, like many in the tech space right now, have seen its valuation fluctuate as a lot of investors try to understand realistic timelines for quantum computing. Is this a red flag or an opportunity? You see, here's the thing. Quantum computing is a long game. INQ's stock may be down right now, but in my opinion, I think the fundamentals of the company haven't changed. In fact, their CES appearance is proof that they're focused on growth and innovation. But like anything, this is still an emerging industry, and it's still what I would consider a very risky stock. But for me, if anything, this dip could be a reminder to investors that Quantum isn't just an overnight success story, it's a revolution in the making that's going to take years to progress. Companies like INQ aren't just riding the wave right now, they're building a foundation for the next era of computing. But what do you think? Is INQ's presence at CES a turning point for the company? Or maybe even for quantum computing as a whole? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And if you're into technology, innovation, or investing, stay tuned because 2025 is shaping up to be a game-changing year for technology. And I have a feeling we're just getting started. Especially because INQ has been on a roll lately, and they're really taking things to the next level with their secret weapon. To see what I mean, check out this video next. Thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you next time.